good morning, first day and first night behind us. Uh, Veronica really struggled yesterday and she went straight away to sleep uh, as soon as we built up the tent. There she is, waving at us. And I just made the tea and then tried to sleep as well. It was pretty cold, but we made it through. Now we're waiting for a public transport to go another hour a bit higher where the big truck starts. So by now I know the pattern already. Uh, just because the head hurts one day and I sleep for bloody 16 hours, if not more, uh, doesn't mean that it will stop the following day. Where I wake up and I pretend everything is fine just so we would continue. Because Martin gets scared sometimes and he just doesn't want to continue until I get better. But that's just a waste of time because we know the pattern by now. It's not like I don't take uh, precautions. I do take pills to water down my blood and also against swelling of the brain. And I do that uh, two days or three days before the actual hike. Doesn't seem to help, but at least I'm not worried that I will die on the hike. The cool thing about this place was that we were alone, absolutely alone on that field behind me. Uh, no other campers, anyone else. All the day, day travelers or day hikers disappeared around 6 o'clock or before that. And that was it. And here we are, beginning of the track. Uh, Veronica there. A uh, little dog harassing my leg right there. And the track is going somewhere there. Uh, looks like a downhill for, for the start. But then I'll, I'll think it will go worse. Woo! There she is. Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, okay. See you later. What we see right here is a coca leaf consumption. Look at this lady. More? No more? We met a, met a Czech guy who was studying for 10 months in Ecuadorian jungle to become a shaman or guru who actually told us that it's not enough to chew a coca leaves you need something what's called activator so what he has was a, a kind of black mass which was actually very very tasty uh, i would say kind of matty matty leafy taste therefore we got this one which is also black mass but it tastes really fishy it's disgusting but it does the job what it does, it actually, after chewing it for a while on the one side of your cheek, your half of the face becomes numb. <laughs> but it actually helps a lot uh, with the altitude sickness. <coughs> so that's why we do it. No drugs, no other reason, it's just the altitude. Camping fine dining. Uh, here we have a ham which was traveling two days without refrigeration. And there is a tuna. It probably is not in the oil actually, it doesn't have a taste. Anyway, we gotta do what we gotta do. Because it's raining outside, we cannot cook anything. So. Mm -hmm. 